going on again, guys? It's your guy, Adrian. Back on the channel, Sense of Humor. Um, so today we're talking about uh, Sense of Wood. Um, sense of Wood on... Se just a lot of scents everywhere. <laughs> sense is in the air, right? So <laughs> this one is really special. Uh, this was a, a win for, uh, by Jovi. Yes, she did win. I'm so excited that you got it. Um, you got it, not Jay. <laughs> this man is too excited about this for some odd reason. But um, <laughs> there's a little extra little surprise in there for you uh, that I packed up. So um, you're going to be smelling nice and sweet. That you won't get until March, <laughs> your birthday. Yeah. All right, yeah. So um, these ones are really cool. Um, these are all 10 mil um, bottles. I'm opening my phone because my lovely wife and I actually rated them a while back. Um, so there is, <clears throat> let's start off. I'll just tell you a quick little thing about them. So leather and bourbon, um, leather and bourbon. Um, this one was awesome. Um, big, huge leather notes, um, have nice smokiness behind it. Uh, this one we rated on an average, we did three ratings. Um, what we did was <clears throat> we did right off initial spray, um, 10 minutes after, and then 30 minutes after. Um, so we did a nice little dry down from opening to end. So we got an average, did three um, times, and the average for this one was nine. Whoa. Nine out of 10. Nice. So both of us really love this one. Uh, the next one, it's uh, Cedar and Flower. So uh, Cedar and Flower, um, this one, it was an interesting one. Um, Definitely floral, but it's not your big, bright florals. As you can see, see a lot of these scents um, are not huge. Um, if they if they do have more of a lighter um, side of the fragrance, they're not going to be like huge and bright. Um, they still do have that nice woodiness uh, behind there. Um, this one is definitely cedar uh, the forward with a little bit of nice floral notes that helps it. Um, I'm not huge on cedar, personally. Cedar for me kind of just falls a little, causes a little flat for certain types of wood. Uh, for this one, uh, we rated it 5.6 out of 10. So, yeah, it wasn't our favorite. Hey, and honesty I, is and the best. she comes by and sniffs it. <laughs> gonna, is it this one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the next one we got here is uh, Sandalwood and Oak. Mm. So, Sandalwood and Oak, as you can set it's Sandalwood and Oak. It's just straight wood. <laughs> this whole thing is just nice, powdery, classy wood. Um, notes that um, you get from it. Uh, the sandalwood comes across a little bit more on the creamier side in this one uh, for me and um, off my skin and I'm sure I did off K skin also. Um, so the sandalwood, sandalwood one in oak, uh, we rated it uh, 8 out of 10. Oh. So it's a really, it's a really, it's a really tasty, it's a really nice one. Really nice one. You almost said tasty there. I know. I agree though. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. No, no, I, I, I thought yeah. the same thing. The next one, um, it is Vetiver and Oak. So uh, Vetiver and Oak. Um, this one, if I remember correctly, is it this one? I think it's this one that reminds me, or is it a Cypress? It might, it's either this or the Cypress one that reminds me of um, Encre Noir. I can't remember which one it is. It's either this or the Cypress one. I feel it's the Cypress, but this one, uh, the, vetiver, the vetiver in this one is a little bit brighter. Of a vetiver, it's not a dark, dark vetiver. Yeah, it's, um, this one, uh, we rated this one, where is it, vetiver and oak? We rated this one nine out of 10. So Kay really loves these kind of scents. Uh, these like uh, vetiver, a little bit of a darker scent. Like I said, it's not too dark, but it's definitely getting with that vibe. Like my soul. Yeah, like your black, like your soul. For me, it's like it's closer to, it's it's different. It's like a, uh, out of all three, four so far, it's a like different from the set of woods, and it's more closer to a regular fragrance. If that makes any yeah, sense. Yeah, it like that's, that's what I'm saying. It reminds me more of something that you can honestly probably get from. I'm not just gonna say a designer, but like it's it's a much more approachable to a yeah, lot of people and like, common. Yeah, it's a lot more approachable kind of scent. It's not really daring. Um, but then we have uh, this bad boy here. So this one. What is that one? What's that one, Jay? 
Oud in Oak, which I say Oud, uh, Oak in Oud. <laughs> or Oak in Oak or Oak in Wood. Yeah. He thought it was five different types of things. I had to make sure and tell him not. <laughs> and I confused him many times. With, yeah, go ahead. Um, so this one, uh, it's one of Jay's favorites. Um, it is my per- favorite. It, it, it is his favorite. Um, but um, Why is it my favorite? Oh no, he just doesn't know any better. It's the only one I had. Look <laughs> <laughs> at your hand. It's like I know. Oh yeah, guys, this it's very this dark. this stains. Uh, this is a dark dark fragrance. Um, like I love sense of wood. Um, really awesome um, detail and um, scent profile to them. And lot, some of these will stain your clothes. So don't spray it on your clothes. The darker they are, do not spray on your clothes. Um, they should uh, come out with the crystal version, like Roja's. Yo, listen, they, you never know. Every year, he's been upping himself. He's yeah, been no, upping himself. Yeah, um, every sure. year, the box subscriptions are awesome. Uh, last year, he had the incense in his box, um, paper incense, which was really cool. Um, this year, you can um, you can do a subscription, but you can get any um, other, other prior, uh, previous uh, fragrances, whatever you want. You can mix and match whatever year you want in any fragrances. So it's pretty awesome. Nice. Um, this one, I had to spray it again just to remind myself. Uh, because, because of how badass it is. Yeah, so this one was one that we rated. It wasn't high, so but I, I starred certain ones that I didn't care because um, you, you, you matter. But. Don't say but. <laughs> Just you matter. That's it. Thank you. No, but this is one that Kay wasn't really into. Um, really? Yeah. Let me start. Uh, opinion change and stuff, so it's all good. Yeah, see, oh, because it's see, like kind of powdery now. It's it, yeah, it has a little bit of that kind of powderiness to to mm-hmm. your nose, but it has, comes across a little bit danker. Um, anyways, it's all good. Each to their own. It's, it doesn't matter <laughs> me or anything. It's dank, but it's it's really cool. It's fun. So this one we rated five point six. I love it still, regardless. Anyways. I'm going home. <laughs> next, uh, the next one is Birch in uh, Casia. So mm. this one. Um, the birch, um, uh, it's a, the case is a flower, if I remember correctly. So that one, I honestly don't remember how that one smells. Um, I'd have to spray the one again, but you can tell me, Jay, what do you think it's, about that one? It's dirty, and it's, uh, it's like pretty polarizing. Bir- like it's the not... birch is definitely coming across more of a fresh kind of birch, like cut birch. I, I would say it's pretty dirty, and it's... Uh... <sighs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely... Um, it's not an easy one. No, it's not an easy one for a lot. And especially if you overspray this one, you can, yeah. you, you'll can go you'll get probably a headache. It's not like a, a trying to please you or it's... it's you, I think it's an, it's an acquired taste. Yeah, the, the, flou- the, the flower in this is almost kind of like endolic kind of. Um, so yeah, if you overspray it, it can get quite crazy for this one. So it's, it's a really nice one though. Um, this one, uh, we rated 6.3 out of 10. I feel the oud is the strongest in this one so far. Oh, wooden oak? Uh, no, the actual oud in it is the strongest out of all of them. I sense the oud in here that mm-hmm. is, is the strongest out of the, the six, seven that we tried so far. Okay, okay, I see you. This one, next one, it is oak in bourbon. I think I've tried this one. Oak in bourbon, as you can sense, uh, you're going to get that, that oak vibe for sure. A little bit more of that barrel kind of uh, age uh, vibe going on with the bourbon that's in there. A little sweet. A little bit uh, quite woodsy. Uh, the no breakdown, like guys, I'm not giving you no breakdown. There's too many of them. Yeah, no, um, it's this just video would take forever if we did that. Quick thing, right? Um, this one, uh, ooh, what is it? Oudin Bourbon? Mm-hmm. Oudin Bourbon, um, this one we were not a fan of uh, too much. On skin, it just didn't, it didn't punch as we wanted to on skin. Uh, it was only 3.6 rated this one on skin. Wow, it's the lowest one so far. Yeah, lowest one so far. Okay. Uh, it's Again, it's a nice scent in the air, but on skin, didn't do anything for us. It just shows that you're honest and, you know, like you're not giving everything a 9 and an oh, 8. Hell, like, hell I, hell hate, no. I hate reviews where they're all like, oh, it's 9, 10, 8, 9, 10, yeah. 8. Hell so, no. There, yeah. there's, there's, like, it's, and you see stuff in, my, in, in our collection, um, it's stuff that we love. It's not like just to have it, right? What are you trying um, to say? What are you trying to say? Out of the 400 <laughs> bottles that we have, uh-huh. it's not because... It's the ones you guys can't it, You guys can't live without. without. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, definitely, right? That's why you never see certain ones that go out of my collection, ever. This one. This one, guys. It's Plum and Cognac. I think it's their flagship, right? This one is definitely, I would say, their top seller for sure. 
Um, my guy in front of me, uh, Jay, is nuts. And he wants to uh, swap, sell, trade, whatever he wants to do. I don't know. I just, I get a lot of tobacco and I get the plum and it just, I don't know. I'm just being 100% honest. It doesn't I know you're being blow honest. me away. It doesn't. I know you're being honest. And you're probably, you're probably not into like those sweeter kind of things. Like the Udin Oak blows me away. Yeah, and Udin Oak, because it, it's, it's, it's different. It's, yeah. it's definitely, Udin Oak is definitely something you would find like again, these are this, these are this is niche guys. But I get. But like this is something you'd find like in a really high quality oh. niche, like oils or something like that. Like Udin Oak is it's not an easy wear, not an easy wear, guys. Um, but this one, Plum and Cognac, um, it's an awesome scent. Um, it does really well on our skin. Um, I love it. This one, however, it was a seven point three, mm. a ten. So still a great mark. Okay. Um, but yeah, it wasn't that 10. Obviously, as you see, as much as I love it, it still wasn't a 10. You guys don't let the hype deter your opinion. No, or, no, yeah. no. We love it. We're still going to give it a proper rating, right? Okay. Um, next one, it is Oud and Bourbon. So another bourbon, but a little bit more on the Oud side. Which bourbon was the one before? Um, oak and Bourbon. Oh, okay. Man, it's either Oud or Oak or <laughs> there's Bourbon. There's or... a lot of O's, B's. There's a it, lot of different things. It's, that... it, it's, it's like they took like five words and put it in like a little thing and they picked, oh, we got oud again and yeah. oak. Okay, mix these up. and Yeah, pretty much, right? It's, it's, it's really cool. The, 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 this first collection that they brought out, these were the 17 that they brought out. Uh, the first year is what, 2020? Oh, so these aren't just random 17, um, no, this is the, the first seven originals. Okay. These are all the, this is all the original. This is what they started off with, the 17 they started off with. So these are the OGs. You should say these kind of things because to normal people, it isn't common sense like it is to you yeah these are the ogs guys uh these are the 17 that they started off with um so like as you see as you go and you go on their website as the years go by the last few years they have changed so like this collection like jay was saying is bourbon this it's chestnut that it's flower this as they pa as they went along years it's changed they they got kind of got rid of that um and then a little bit more focus on certain other scents um so this one what was this one again it was uh Even bourbon Udon bourbon? Yeah. Okay. So this one, Udon bourbon, I starred this one. We came up with a, we came up with a Raiden. And again, the Raiden, I must say, K was the, the, the test trial for all this. <laughs> to see what she really loved. Um, so I've sprayed everything on her. The Raiden is all hers. I got her to raid everything. So she did really well with the Raiden. But like, side note. Things smell very different on you than they do on me. They do. Very different. They definitely do. Um, this one um, rated uh, 3.6 out of 10, so it wasn't uh, her favorite. However, like this one, I starred because I freaking love this one. This one is super, super cool. I'm starting to sadly see that Kay and I have like total out. No, Similar total out. Opposite? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. No. Especially with the uh, sense of moods. Mm. I really like this one. I have it too. It's 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 fantastic. Like no, see, it gives me a headache. Like like, the, like guys, this one it's really cool. I don't oh, know what it is, so nice. but like Bright. the oud is super smooth in this boozy. one. Yeah, it's boozy, but it's it has like this almost uh, sorry, can't love like this, this. decadent. It has right. almost like this decadent um, um, like pastry kind of vibe. Not like sugary Which pastry. Which is why I don't like it. it. Ha probably why you don't like right. it. Right. Right? Um, so yeah, the next one um, that we got, it is Cypress and Oak. So this one, this is the one, if I'm pretty sure, that reminds me of Encre Noir. Um, just a little bit um, more refined Encre Noir. And if you guys know Lalique Encre Noir, you know it. It's a beast in the game. It's honestly, as for when it comes to, if you want to say mm. designer, niche, whatever you want to call Lalique, um, I personally kind of borderline them on niche because they do jewelry guys designers design and they do clothing again we had this conversation anyways um this one what was it again uh cypress and oak cypress and oak um this was rated nine out of ten k loves these scents these darker forest like masculine very woodsy scents she loves them i love them um Uncle noir is one of my favorite um, sense that's like so cheap. To buy Which it. version is your favorite? Oh, the, the original, the OG, the original. OG uh, Arc Noir. The Sport is awesome. Lust Stream is is cool, but the OG it does. Is Lust Stream the one with the wooden cap? All of them have the wood. All of them. Oh, okay, it, the, the pre the older versions will have the wooden. Okay. The new, or they start new making the new ones. They change the 
um, the look of it. Okay. Uh, next one is Oak and Oak. One that uh, Jay thought this was the one that he was talking about. <laughs> hey, shut up. You so, don't make fun of me in my own show. So, um, th this one, this one I thought he, he thought he was talking about. Oak and Oak. <laughs> Guys, it's Oak and Oak. Do I need to explain what it is? It's Oak and Oak. That's What's in it? Oh no, freaking! There's uh, oak in it. And there's, there's mango in it, guys. I don't know, freaking no. There's whatever. Are but, you serious? Or are you joking? I'm, oh, no, no, I'm joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Boy, you got up, me. Straight up oak. <laughs> yeah, I can smell the ripe, overripe mango in this. <laughs> no, oak and oak. I don't need to explain it. Um, this one uh, is eight point three out of ten. That nice. was rated by K. Um, the next one that we got coming uh, coming up, it is cedar. Uh, an acacia. So, this one, um, where is it? Cedar. So this one, um, I let Jay spray it on. See what you see. What is acacia about. the the berries, or is it something else we're talking about? For this one, the cedar. Because this one, um, I think I'm losing my nose. <laughs> there's a there's a lot there's a lot to smell. Okay, well, there's a lot to smell. Power through this these. one. Um, mm. Was a cedar and acacia. And doo -doo 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 -doo. sorry guys. Don't worry. This one rated six point six out of ten. Okay. Okay. So it's just like right about of average. It was um, kinda average for me too. Yeah, to kinda average. But I, I gotta give all these a, a honest try and a day day wear. But you, as you, as a first sniff, yeah, this you is You definitely have opinion. to. This one, really cool. This one they brought out what was it twenty twenty one? Um, this is part of the collection, so 2021, I think, like, July or August. Um, this one is Mineral Cedar. Ooh. Yeah. Mineral Cedar. This name. one it is freaking awesome, guys. Um, when they brought this one out, this was near the end of their uh, first subscription box. Um, it is fire. <laughs> Absolute fire. Like, this is one that I can see. Oh, yeah. could definitely be um, a oh, signature yeah. scent for a lot of people. Um Jay loves it. He's off camera. He's saying, hell yeah. He <laughs> might pick up a bottle of this one. Um, this one, you're getting those, like it says, that mineral cedar. You're getting that nice aquatic vibe, but it's aquatic done differently. It's that, it's that freshy done really differently. The woodsiness behind it. Um, this one, guys, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Damn. Jay loves this one. Um, probably because just Kay has impeccable taste. She does. She does. Um, probably just reminds her of being a mermaid. I don't know what it is. Something. Uh, next one that we got is Vetiver in Chestnut. This one is really cool. Um, this one, um, you get a nice chestnut vibe, so you're getting a little, little bit of sweetness from it. Um, the Vetiver comes across more on the woodsy, kind of like a um, uh, fresher, kind of damp side uh, for me personally. Um, this one we rated 8.3 out of 10. Oh. Yeah, mm. this one's really, really delicious. Next one is orange and chestnut. Ho, ho, ho. Guys, orange and chestnut. Orange. J, spray it on your skin. Orange and chestnut. K, you want to tell people what you rated this one? Orange and chestnut? Oh. Woo! Yeah. Ten, that, out ten, out ten out of ten, 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 out of ten. Yeah, so the three ratings wow, that Kay right. did for these, like I said, we did the rating right after initial spray, about 10, 15 minutes oh, later, and then, yeah. and, then, oh. and, then, yes. and then 30 minutes later, this, every single time span, she rated this 10 out of 10. See, our nephew's here too, and also said it's amazing. Yeah, like this, guys, it's probably, uh, other than like Plum and Cognac and um, the Mineral Cedar, like, Thank Plum you. Cognac, Mineral Cedar, no, this is number and, and um, Orange and Chestnut, for me, is like the three top for them. It is fire. Orange Chestnut is awesome. Um, you're going to definitely get those um, bright orange vibes, um, citrus. It honestly reminds you of just being like on a beach somewhere or vacation. Probably Ibiza. I don't know. Somewhere. But it's, it's awesome. That um, would be an understatement. Yeah. Next one, it is Cedar. <laughs> Another Cedar for you. <laughs> cedar and Oak. And uh, another oak for me. Yeah, another cedar and oak. So not to be mistaken with the cedar and the oud. Not yeah, or, or the other cedars. Oak or oak um, so just to kind of give you guys a little separation. Ooh, this one um, cedar. Oops. Cedar and oak. So you guys know it's not the same kind of thing that they're doing over and over. So this one, the breakdown is black pepper, pink pepper, 
Oris, Atlantis Cedar, Virginia Cedar, Cipro Oil, Patchouli, Myrrh, and Haitian Vetiver. Um, so, yeah, this one's a nice spicy, woody kind of scent. All right, guys? I actually like it a lot. It's, 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 it's really good. Um, last one, but not least. Last but not least. Oh, no, what did we rate this one? Cedar and Oak. Cedar and Oak was rated 7.6 out of 10. Last but not least, Oud and Acacia. So another Oud, another flower. Um, and another one, Acacia. Yep. Um, this one, where is it? Oud. This one's 8.3 out of 10, guys, um, that we rated this one. Um, this one, it is, let me tell you, quick breakdown and why this was rated this way. And it's 4.8 right now in, Fra in Fragrantica, guys. 4.08, sorry. Rose, Orange Blossom, Vanilla, Agarwood, um, Immortal, Oris, Amberwood, Virginia Cedar, and Carrot. Carrot? Yeah. I've never per heard that note in a fragrance oh, so personally, far. Personally, I love carrots and notes. I know it's weird. You're probably like, yeah, whatever. You're lying. No, like dead ass. Like, I love carrots um and notes um by rado does one i forget which which uh scent it is that they have but they do have one with carrot in their note and i love that one too carrot immortal um i really do enjoy immortal also immortal can come across more on like the the powdery tobacco honey side so immortal is not an easy wear when you find in fragrances because some people can get really nose blind and stuffy but i love it I think uh, K loves carrots too, especially the twenty one K carrots and all that. <laughs> I love all the carrots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bling bling. So thanks for thanks again, guys, for joining me and Jay. Um, leave a like, uh, subscribe, comment below if this is a uh, this is content that you do love. So uh, have a great day and a great sense of humor. <laughs>